it like when you find out what happened. Oh, that's shocking. Uh, unbelievable. But you saw the plane hit one. Seeing, hearing, thinking, and feeling that day. The thought was disbelief. I mean, really, it was so amazing. And then the skyline completely changed. You know what I'm saying? The Twin Towers were New York. So the whole skyline of New York changed right there. You watch history being made. What do you remember the most about the days after night? Um, the search for bodies, they said, for people that were trapped, because it was an all-out search to try to rescue as many people as possible. So I remember that. And people were frantically looking for their loved ones, trying to see where are they. change for you? That was the first thought of uh, home terrorism other than white supremacy. That was the first thought. Do you know anyone who lost a life or a loved one? I mean, do you mean in the 9-11 or, yeah, yeah. or afterwards? During the 9-11. Not personal. But now, you know, we had a native of Montgomery was in the war against that attack of 9-11. And his name was Stephen Bryson. Y'all don't remember him? He was a native of Montgomery. No, right after 9-11, in the Iraq war, we had combat troops going over. And he was one of the very first. He came out of Montgomery, Alabama. His name was Stephen Bryson. A gunnery sergeant. You don't remember that? Okay. Stephen Bryson. D-Y-S-O-N. And in what ways are we still being affected? We now know America is vulnerable. See, we always took war somewhere else. Now it shows that war can come to us. So that's how we affected. It on my mind that it ain't just over here tonight. Any day it can be over him. What's the biggest lesson you have for me? Everybody in America ain't American. <laughs> <laughs> right. And they don't practice that democratic principle. <laughs> It was here. It was on American soil. It was in our neighborhoods and our city. That's different. We usually go everywhere else. Mm -hmm. It came home. students like me to learn from that's a tough one. What do you learn from now? That's a real tough one because 
other than the fact that Ward don't have to be a bro if you need a home. And there's many ways we are repeating it daily when we got people who do attacks on everybody. You know what I'm saying? See, what we had is foreigners coming in. But we have the same thing with them great terrorists right here. So we got to recognize that they all foreigners. Oklahoma wasn't foreigners. It was us. Losing. So I want people to understand that terrorism is terrorism. Whoever runs. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this interview with us, Mrs. Carolyn.